hello my my beauty queens welcome back to my channel so in today's video i'm going to be revisiting the new or the, yeah the new pat mcgrath mothership 10 moonlit seduction palette and this is what it looks like right here how pretty is this packaging i already have one look up i will link that down below so yeah i just wanted to um my luggage <laughs> so i just wanted to yeah um show you guys this palette once again and use it for another look before i put it away and if you guys want to see another one let me know so i did my foundation base but i didn't do my under eye concealer because i don't know if this is going to um you know drop a little um you know sparkle under my eyes so i didn't do my concealer yet and um yeah so let's get into it so once again this is what the palette looks like right here very pretty everyday colors and then the four special shades on that side so yeah so we're going to just do a quick look so first i'm going to take my handy dandy makeup forever brush right here and then i'm going to go in with i'm going to go in with this shade i'm sorry i'm going to go in with this shade right here that brown shade I'm going to just put that in the crease. You guys let me know if you picked this palette up or you passed, you, was, you wasn't feeling it or whatever the case may be. Let your girl know. So that's what that looks like right there. All right, I think I need to go in with the deeper one. So now I'm taking this shade right here. I probably should have put some concealer on, but... Should I? No, I can see that one. So with that first one, I will have to put on some concealer so it can define my um, crease better. But it's hot as heck. I'm in California, you guys. It's another like 90 day. I don't know. <laughs> Yesterday was like 89 or 90. Today is like 90. 88s in that same range so if you hear that noise that's my fan you guys because it is so hot and it's super early i'm filming early and the sun is already beaming all right so i like this so this is what we're looking like right now step back a little bit let's see all right so that's pretty cool so now i'm going to take we're going to take we're going to take okay so as you can see i used this shade already and i used that shade so we're going to go in with this like golden shade right here and i know pat mother pat put a whole lot of gold shades in her palette but at least this one is lighter it's not as bright you know as a diamond like <laughs> the other ones so yeah i'm going to take that gold shade and we're going to just put that all over the lid but before I do that, you know, before I do that, I'm going to take a smaller brush, you guys. I don't want to smoke it out too much because, like I said, it's hot out. It's not, you know, it's pretty. I don't want to be too smoky today. So I'm going to take this color right here and then this little um, my Marc Jacob brush. And I'm just going to put a little bit in the corner for some depth. But not too much because I don't want to smoke it out too much. Okay, that's enough. So I'm wiping my brush off. And I'm just going and putting that out. And I just want a little bit of depth, but not too much. Yeah, like that. A little bit. Because this color is very pigmented, very deep. And I'm trying to make this a daytime look, even though you can wear what you want, when you want, how you want. But like I said, it's like 90 degrees. <laughs> so... I 
I said that's what we're looking like right there. Just a little dip in the outer corner, but not too much. All right, so now I'm gonna take my Pat McGrath, what is this? My Pat McGrath Labs Intensify, Pat McGrath Intensify Artistry Wine right here. You guys let me know if you like this or what you think about it. Um, I'm still on a fence. I don't know yet. I don't know. I don't know. So I'm just rub this on my lip. And I'm going to take um, this shade right here because you can see I use this shade and this shade. So now I'm going to use this shade and this shade. So I'm going to take this gold one right here and then put that all over the lid. I'm going to use my finger. This is what it looks like. Pat it. And let's see. Like I said, I didn't do my um, under eye concealer yet. Just in case I have some sparkles that fall, I can just put my concealer over it and be good to go but even if you do this before and you get um eyeshadow or whatever under your eyes and you already went in with your concealer you could still do it again just don't do a whole lot so it won't be cakey but yeah that's what we're looking for. So I'm going to go in with this brush right here and then I'm going to take that lighter color right here that I went in first but I didn't feel like it defined my crease enough and I'm going to just go over the top of that. Alright, so I'm finished with that. So now we're going to repeat that same step on my left, your right. I'm so funny. I keep trying to twist this up, but it's a clicker at the bottom. I keep, I don't know why I keep wanting to twist it. I'm just used to twisting. Again, same step, take that color right there, put that all over my lid. trying to even my eyes out because this one is like a little bit wider or open however you want to say it than this one so I always try to make it I always have to go up a little bit more on this side so yeah that's what we're looking like right here let me know and I'm gonna do this one too all right so that's about even take my um i took this brush i'm gonna take this brush right here by um sonya g go back in with that lighter color i used first to define the crease but it wasn't working <laughs> but it probably would have worked if i put concealer you guys i'm just being lazy i didn't put concealer today because every day i don't do concealer or sometimes I do, but I just, um, when I do under my eyes, I just put whatever's left on my eyelid or swipe my eyelid like once or twice. All right, my, my beauty queen. So this is what we're looking like right here. Let me know what you think. I got a little sparkle, but not too much. So now I'm going to take the top and put it back on this. I'm going to take my flat definer by Sonya G right here. 
and I'm going to wet it with my Avion water and I'm gonna just go in with, I'm gonna go in with, which one do I wanna use? I'm gonna go in with this shade right here. So first that silver shade. So first I'm gonna wet my brush. I'm gonna go in with that silver shade. We're gonna just put that in the inner corner. See how I got these sparkles all over my face? So we're gonna fix that. That's why I didn't do my um, concealer, cause I knew that was gonna happen. But like I said, sometimes I'll still do it, take that chance, and then just reapply my concealer. As long as you don't go overboard, it won't be cakey. Right, so that's what we're looking like right there and so yeah so then i'm gonna just take this and put this under my brow bone for that i'm gonna take my same brush right here which is my makeup forever brush and go in with this shade right here and just put that under my brow bone Right, so this is what we're looking like right here let me know what you think i know i got the little sparklies all over my face so now we're going to go in with i'm going to take my what is this givenchy concealer and shade 40. i'm going to just put that under my eyes then it should get mo uh, rid of most of that sparkle and bridging my nose and right here. I went light on the makeup today because like I said, it is hot as heck out here. So I didn't want to put too much makeup on my face. I was going for like a little more flawless look. Okay, so that's what we're looking like right there. So while we waiting for that to get like a little bit tacky, I'm going to take my matte current pencil right here. I'm sorry, I always use current. I'm going to take my Cyber World pencil right here by MAC. Just uh, line my lips. So this is like current, but just deeper. Yeah, my, my beauty queens, I find it better like when I let my concealer uh, sit for a while. It gives more coverage and it's uh, kind of stay where you want it to stay. All right, so that's what we're looking like right there. Go like that. Max Cyber World. Then I'm going to take um, one of my... Um, Pat McGrath lip glosses right here. This is in the shade. I don't know, you guys. This love. Ooh, what, is, what do this say? Labyrinth. I don't know. I can't see, you guys. I'm a little blind. But I'm going to take this right here. And then I'm just put that on my lips. I think it's called Labradory or something like that. How pretty is that? So this is what it looks like right here.
All right, now that we didn't let that sit, I'm gonna go in with my Sephora 99 brush right here. <clears throat> We're just gonna blend out the concealer. Like I said, I'm going for a light coverage today, you guys. It is like super, super hot. So this is what we're looking like right now. This is shade 40. And a Givenchy concealer. So that's what we're looking like right there. I'm going to take my um, my Chateaucay powder right here. And this is in the shade, what shade is this? This is in Perfect Blur Finishing Powder. But first I'm going to go over with my foundation brush. I'll be right back. I'm going to go back over with my foundation brush. And I'm just going to blend all this out. So let me... Like I said, it's hot. So yeah, so this is what it's looking like right here. And first I just want to go in with this. And then kind of just go over everything to make it seamless. No harsh lines. You guys, I love this brush. I had this brush and then I stopped using it and then I started using it again. <laughs> oh my God, it covers so much area and it's soft and don't shed. But anywho, all right, so this is what we're looking like right here. So now I'm going to take my Chateau Pie powder, as I was saying, the finishing blur powder, and I'm just going to put that under my eyes. Like, I really like this powder, <clears throat> but I don't like it or all over my face because I think it's a, too, a little too light for that. But I do like it to highlight my under eye area. All right, so that's what we're looking like right there. And know we did that. I'm going to take my... Um, bronzer and this is the Gucci bronzer in shade 5. That's what this looks like right here. I'm about to take that and do my cheeks. And this is my Benefit brush right here. I love this brush. I purchased two. It's so cute, the little gold. I don't know if they still have this available. Now you guys let me know what you think about this palette let me know if you picked it up let me know if you like no i don't need no more palettes i know i haven't really been picking up palettes lately because i have so many but i had to get this one i love my mother pat and i'm a pat collector so i don't know for how long though no. <laughs> if she don't get better with these shades all right so that's what we're looking like right there 
bring a little pizzazz back to my face of some dimension. Let your girl know, let your girl know, let your girl know. So now I'm going to take my Pat McGrath, what was this called? My Pat McGrath Blush and Delights palette right here. And that's what that looks like right there. So I'm going to take this deeper shade right here and then just put that on my cheeks. This is so pretty. I know some people were saying like it's bulky, but I think it's pretty. So this is what I look like when I stand back a little bit. All right, so that's what we're looking like. And then to top that off, I'm gonna go in with some mascara that I forgot. So I will be right back. I went inside my August luxury makeup basket. So this is the Pat McGrath Dark Star Mascara. We're going to just do this. Spritz my face. Holy crap. I got some eyeliner right there. I'm going to just let that dry before I start messing with it. Before I smear it everywhere. I ain't even going to say how much wonders this work for my uh, itty bitty lash committee self. Make me feel like I have lashes. All right, my, my beauty queens, this is the finished look. Let me know what you think. Um, so, yeah, let your girl know, let your girl know. So, the moon, um, Moonlit 10 Seduction Palette. Pat McGrath Newest Palette out. Let your girl know what you think. Let me know if you're going to pick it up. Let me, like, let me know if you're, like, hell to the gnaw. But please leave a comment down below. It's greatly appreciated. I love to hear you guys' input. Um, yeah, and so, yeah, that's it. Oh, uh, let me spray my face. That feels so good because, like I said, it's like uh, 88, 90 degrees. So, all right, my, my beauty queens, that concludes my Moonlit, my Pat McGrath Moonlit Seduction Palette Review and Tutorial Second Look. Um, so, I guess this was a semi get ready with me because I did my eye look and then I went in and finished everything else. So don't forget to uh, let me know how you like this. Um, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, tap that notification bell. Check out my YouTube community tab and all my other social sites. Stay safe. Stay well. Kisses. Peace out.